Good evening, good evening, my brothers. Good evening. Good, Yo, if you guys don't know already, Ty is saying this. Grown ass man toys. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I'm one of your co hosts, and I got my two amazing brothers. I'm Collector 425. I'm the real comrade. And I'm your boy, Marvelous Shots. We grown ass man toys, and like what Marvelous has been saying for the past couple of weeks, we on the rise. To five. To five. Rise baby. to five. Rise to five. Yeah, yeah we almost, we low key almost there. I think we got like 20 or something like that, 30, some joint. 20. Ooh. We got 20 to go. I saw it today. Yeah, nice, 20. nice, man. Yeah. So, how's your guys' beautiful Sunday? It's, it's active, bro. It's active. It's been, it's been raining. <laughs> going this way, I don't know what the weather is like over there on your side, but it's it's been storming on the weekend. It's like a light drizzle over here. Yeah, yeah same over here. Um, kind of hot out to the point. Hey, Clint, uh, Conrad, I asked him. I said, "You notice anything?" He said, "Wait, yeah. wait, let let's see if Conrad notices anything." <laughs> you notice anything? Well, y'all ain't wearing no sweaters. You got a t-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. crazy. I caught it like this too. That's crazy. It's like a holiday. Bro, I, I can finally see his neck, yo. Like it was all hoodie, That's crazy. no neck. <laughs> hey guys, so we got another ep uh, amazing episode for you guys today. Yes. Another grown ass mm -hmm. men toys toy room tour. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. it's a mouthful, you gotta say it like that. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this guest, um, we 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 never really um, like I saw his show. I believe he has a show on YouTube. Um, yeah. And if, if you guys are not following him after the show, check him out. Um, yeah. I know he got hella figures, man. Man, come on. Um, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I know everyone's going to be excited because they're going to be like, if the people don't know who he is, when they mm -hmm. watch this show, they're yeah. going to know who he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he's definitely a family man. Um, I checked out his YouTube. He's out with his son. He, like, you know, he's really enjoying this, um, this toy hobby, you know? Um, yeah. I really, really intrigued, and and I really want to find out how long has the brother been doing this for? Because sure. his collection, you can't just do it overnight, right? You know? Um, so um, so let's get this started, baby. Our special guest is Basement Boy Banner. Howdy, howdy. What's going down? Oh, you guys just call me Thor. It's good. Base Boy Banner is the channel. Thor, Thor that's 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 this guy. So um. I am Thor. You. This is my hammer. Thor. Yeah, Thor. yep. That's my real name. So yeah, mama nice. name is real name. Name Thor. Oh shit. Huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Mama named me Thor. That's crazy. Yep. Well, Dad, actually, Mom wanted to name me Brandon, but Dad is like, "No, no, no, we're not doing that." How about, how about Thor? Are. She's like, "All right, let's do that." Dude, mom, Mama wasn't trying to set you up for success. That Daddy said, uh. "No, no." Dad had my back though. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. look, and, and I'm over here thinking, like, man, I hope he has a collection. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I always say I didn't choose the nerd life. The nerd life chose me, right? Like, oh, yeah. that's crazy. There you go. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, um, just to get started, brother Thor, um, what do you enjoy about uh, the social media aspect of this hobby? Well, I mean, I I love socials, man. I've been doing socials for like nine years. I've been running the channel since 2015. Based my banner, I started it back like a discussion show in early, yeah, April 2015. I think we launched our first episode. And mm -hmm. it used to be kind of a podcast. I used to have a co-host and we used to do like movie talk essentially right like um i was big into collider at the time and like schmoes know some of that sort of stuff so i was a little bit emulating that yeah and then it kind of went like that until covid and then covid everything had to change because i was you know my co-host couldn't come over no more i was just in the sun or in the basement with my son and stuff so i started getting into collecting again i started busting off some of my old collectibles and started buying stuff again and started uh -huh. re-engaging because i've been a collector since honestly since i was a little dude like since i was in the right. 80s, collecting like G.I. Joe, Voltron, you know, Silverhawks, Thundercast. Like I used to have all the G1 Transformers, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. and then I got out of it. And then I was really, really heavy in like the 2000s with it. Um, mm -hmm. I was really into like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so right. I was done like 1999, around two, 2000. I collected Dragon Ball Z stuff pretty heavy, like the old Jack Pacific line. Um, some of the stuff straight from Japan. 
Um, uh-huh. but yeah. And then I, then I got into the McFarland stuff and it kind of, everything all started up again. And then it went just, I started making videos and yeah. So social is yeah. a huge part of it though. I actually do that for my day job too. So I do, I work in marketing. So I do sure. like, uh, I run social media manager for companies and stuff like that. And then I just uh-huh. have my own side hustle and then I'm a real estate agent. So I stay pretty busy. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm about to say, like, like, so you're never home and be like, you know what? I'm not going to be on the camera today. I'm just going to relax. Yeah, I like doing this all day. I like both sides of that coin. I like being on camera and I like producing. Like, I love yeah. producing stuff for other people, like making things and, you know, doing all that sort of stuff. That's right. kind of a passion of mine, you know, but being in front of the camera, that's kind of old hat for me. I've been doing it for so long now. It's just kind of, you know. Yeah. If you, if you were to, uh, if we were to, to ask somebody that was close to you, what would they say is the dopest thing about knowing Thor? Oof. Uh, if you ask like my friends or like my, my kids and my hey, wife. Hey, go, you know, you could ask the ex. Anybody. Like <laughs> my, my kids and my wife would say the dopest thing about me is is uh just being dad, right? Like playing with the kids, like you know, taking them, like we'll go down to the um uh, baseball field out back bring some legos and we'll do some toy photography in the legos and stuff and back with my son me and my daughter are just playing donkey kong country on the super nintendo emulator so for them it's just the dad thing you know i love that bro yeah because us as fathers we, we 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 do exactly the same thing man and it's good to have our kids you know because they because sometimes you know when kids growing up they're like oh dad's dad is in the toy room again <laughs> you know giving us the no attention he's not even you know yeah. So it's good. That's awesome, man. Because we all do the same thing, pretty much. Straight Heck yeah. Straight yeah, up. I like them being part of it. I wish my son would be... He was more into it a few years ago. He would actually do videos with me, come and like do setups with me and pose and stuff. And then he's he's 10 now, so he's a little too cool for me. He's oh. all in Fortnite <laughs> and, you know, getting that. But my little girl, she's four, so she'll come back here and, and mess around a little bit and have fun. But he's still... Yeah. He's still every once in a while. He wanted to do that toy hunt. Um, like you were saying, I go, we do toy hunt videos together. And yeah, he'll just yeah. be like, Dad, can we go for a toy hunt? And I'm like, heck yeah. You know, let's go do it. And we'll go hit a couple of Walmarts, a couple of Targets, shoot a couple of things. And, you know, I'll just edit it on CapCut. He's funny because he makes his own CapCut videos. Wow. And me and him will sit and chop it up about, you know, how to edit on CapCut and like different transitions. And so I'm really enjoying like the further he gets into it, like he's like enjoying the production side of it. Because he'll do streaming. He'll, he'll be like a game streamer. So he'll uh-huh. stream himself playing Fortnite or Minecraft or whatever he's playing, but he'll just take over my channel. Like I won't uh-huh. even know it. All of a sudden I'm like, based on my banner's got a live stream. And I'm like, they do. I don't, <laughs> I didn't have anything scheduled today. I'll <laughs> pop in there and it'll be him. And he's like, he calls himself Basin Boy Jr. sometimes. Uh-huh. Cracks me up. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, so, yeah. So, so then he's following, you know, daddy's footsteps. Uh, footsteps uh, yeah. Uh, oh, for sure. Stuff. Yeah, that for was sure. funny because I saw it. I, I think you posted in your story. So you was like, oh, son, you're going to be on the video. He was like, oh, dad. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was, that was the start of the toy hunt. I'm like, we're doing a toy hunt video. I was like, I don't even want to. And then we came out of the first story. He's like, I got Captain Rex. And we're going to Target. And Lego's the best toy company. And like, he gets all, you know, they start off there and then they end, you know, way up. So that's, what's up, yeah, that's man. funny. That's awesome. Yeah, and now, in, in your collection right there, like what we can see so far, is that only your collection or is that yours and your son's? Um, well, some of my transformers and stuff are his that that's actually what got me back into collecting is he was watching the Netflix transformer show and he wanted like Soundwave and Optimus and all these dudes. So I started hunting them in the Walmarts right? and rebuying those. And then I bought my first McFarlane and I think it was my first, it was the Nightwing. It was the Nightwing from the build a Batmobile set. And then that was like a huge, I was like, I'm just gonna get one, you know, then I got two. (laughs) Now I got like 200. <laughs> it, it it escalated real fast for me um, with McFarlane, especially just because I'm more of a DC guy. You think Thor, like I'm way more into Marvel, but I'm way more a DC guy, like Green yeah. Lantern, Batman, Nightwing, you know, Deathstroke. They're, that's more what I like read in comic books. I sure. don't read a lot of the Marvel stuff. I like Marvel movies and I like Marvel kind of things surrounding Marvel. But when it comes to actually reading comic books or animated movies, I'm far more DC driven. Than I am, than I am Marvel. Wow. What do, you think, what do you think that is? I think we had a conversation about that a few months back. We were talking about uh, DC, DC fantasy, uh, the stories. 
versus Marvel stories and how connected uh, DC is to like regular everyday human life in certain in certain aspects. But then you got some characters like, you know, like the X-Men, there's a humane side to that. It's like an undertone, but I don't know. What do you think DC has that makes them so captivating? Because I know the animated films, I'm, I, I love those things. You know, oh, yeah. Marvel, able to do that yet. No, Marvel, I mean, now they got X-Men 97. That was great. Like, we all as a family are watching that. My little daughter love X-Men. She got an X-Men shirt now because yeah. of it and stuff. Um, but I don't know. DC captures... I think you said like the more the human element, right? Like yeah. I, I strive to be as good as Dick Grayson or as like, you know, steely as a Batman, or you look at like real identity crisis, like some of those stories where they bring out that real human aspect, some of the yeah. weird stuff that's gone on um, yeah. or that can go on in that world. I think Marvel's a little less grounded, which is crazy to say, cause they're, neither one's fully grounded, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the yeah. stories they can go more human interest type stuff or marvels is more i think bombastic you know they always do the crossover events you know like yeah. civil war events stuff like that and dc is no different i mean how many crisis events have they had how many you know what's the absolute power i think is the one running right now or like mm -hmm. dark, uh, death metal dark knights metal that sort of stuff those, those are fun though those are fun stories i don't know yeah. there's just something about those characters i connect with more you know hey um, I, I I was thinking Wait. about them, and I was like, most of DC characters we like. And they, hey, don't, don't, nobody come after me on this one, bro. I'm just talking. Don't worry about it. All the, the DC heroes that we cling to, like Batman, Superman, and stuff like that, most of that stuff is rooted in childhood trauma. And I'm just, this is me talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, for sure. Marvel stuff is like, they was born that way type job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't when they was kids and nothing like that. But the DC stuff sometimes we have when they're they little kids and stuff. <laughs> like how what how life makes you versus like exactly how you're born, right? Like mutants yeah. are born a certain way. Like Batman and a lot of them go through traumas, go through childhood stuff that makes them who they are. You know, yeah, yeah. So for sure. You know, so being that DC is your is your go to, um, who's your Batman? All the actors that that played Batman, who's who's your Batman? <laughs> live action? Or are you talking about like who's He's my not, Batman? Yeah. Live action. Oh, okay, live action. It got to be one. <laughs> There's a scorecard up, and uh, uh, gotta be one. it's probably Bale is really formative for me. I was like in my twenties around then, like life was still good, you know, like it was the sixties is like my childhood. So Adam West is my childhood. But sure. and Keaton is Keaton. That was like the early '90s, so I still would have been a kid. But yeah, okay. like for me, my adult Batman would have to be Bale. Where are they? Where are they? It had to be the Dark Knight trilogy. It would hey, have to be smart answer. That, be. That's mine as well. Yeah, Bale. But like my Batman. my Batman of all Batmans is Kevin Conroy. Of course, I mean he that's is Batman. like of of all my Batmans. That's oh, the dude. Cool. Like that? yeah. The, the voice of the animated series, the yeah. Arkham games. Oh, yeah. like You're not safe here. No one is. Don't worry about me. You're needed out there. When I of think course. Batman in my head, it's that version that I, you know, it's his voice I hear when I hear the Batman voice. If yeah. I try to do, you know. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> for sure. No, Whoa. Okay. Smart, that's, yeah. that's very politically correct of you. That's awesome. <laughs> Yo, so um, would you say you have more Marvel figures or or more DC figures? Crazy, oh, way more DC, way, way more, way DC. more. Okay, I got you... like maybe 15, 20 Marvel figures. Whoa, <laughs> I got like a couple. I got, yeah, I got a lot of DC stuff. So there's a rumor saying that you got every McFarlane figure that came out. No. No, I'm missing a couple. I mean, I'm not missing a lot. No, I'm, I wish I had them all, but I'm missing like the Asbat, um, that gold label Walmart Asbat. I'm missing. He's the one that jumps to mind right away when I think about ones I'm missing. Some of the Gotham Knights ones I passed on. I, I did for a while. Was trying to be a completionist, but then it's mm -hmm. just it's ridiculous nowadays. The amount Thanks of figures they put bro. out. It's yeah. crazy. Yo, and I seen all your toy, not all every video, but I did see like your toy hauls and stuff. I was like, wow, <laughs> he got a toy haul there. He got like boxes oh, of stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. I got a problem. I got some serious, I got some serious <laughs> issues. My backlog problem. is like 50, 60 figures deep right now. And that's just Bro. the ones I plan on doing reviews for. Not even Bro. like I got the, I don't know, the, because I call this the toy dungeon because I'm in like the d- d- deepest part of our basement. I got like machine over here and like a sauna over here. And I'm like right in the middle of it. But I have a, under my workbench, I got a, like my dad's toys. Like my dad used to collect like tractors and there's a, like a remote control boat in there and like some uh, cap guns that look like actual guns. Like there's no way I would take them out of the house. Right. But yeah. So, oh, so collecting is in your genes pretty much. Oh yeah. My dad was, my dad was the one who like started me watching Transformers mm. and Thundercats. And then, yeah, I mean, actually just lost him back in February. Uh, and oh, it was like, Oh, I appreciate that. It was like six months before he passed, he was like, wanted me to sell his collection. And I went to one toy shop or toy swap and I tried to sell some of it and I sold a little bit and then I never went again. Cause I just put it all under my, like under my workbench. And yeah. then after he's gone, I was like, there's no way I could sell, sell that yeah. stuff at this point. Like I'm just holding on. And I don't really do the little like army men or all the stuff he was into, but he was into a whole bunch of like the John Deere stuff, the, the metal tractors, um, and then, like, yeah, the pop guns and all sorts of all sorts of weird things. And like you said, you train the little ones to take it on, you know, next. Because my son's got Legos like crazy. He's mm-hmm. already collecting Legos like nuts. I don't think there's really – I think you fall in and out of it through your, like, seasons of life. Right. But I don't think a collector ever stops collecting. That's I true. Think they, might slow down. they might, you know, sometimes put on the gas, sometimes put on the brake. Right. I never stopped. Like even when I, even when I wasn't buying toys every week, mm-hmm. there'd be like two, three times a year. I would get a figure or I'd get like a Kotobukiya statue or I would still, I'd still scratch that itch every once in a while. Sure. Yeah. That, that's what's up. Um, question. Cause you, you said that you have a lot of figures and, and, and you still haven't done toy reviews of them yet. Mm-hmm. Now, how, let's just say we don't have that time. Um, and and I know a lot of people do toy reviews, right? On certain oh, figures, yeah. right? Would you still do it, or would you would you be like, you know what? There's like 18 videos of this Batman. Why am I gonna waste my time? Depends on how much I like the figure, you know. Um, there's some stuff I definitely have missed that I don't know that I'll circle back on. I mean, there's some stuff in the backlog pile I don't think I'll do. But if I pop a live stream, like let's say I do a Thursday Thor's thoughts live or something like that. I might just grab a handful of figures and open them and just talk to them and just talk about them while I'm opening them on a live stream. So I might not do a full fat review where I like do the box shots, do the review, you know, put the figure in the photo box, take a bunch of photos, video, edit it all together. Um, I might not do that aspect, but mm-hmm. I'll still probably get them out just because I have less and less time. Like I'm working on the, the uh, dark side review right now. Okay, trying to do that dark side mega figure. Fire. The one with the cape? Yeah. Yep. Hard. Yeah, like the old superpowers, like the Jack Kirby special is what I call them. Nice. But, yeah, I, nice. I snuck down here like last night. Or it was, yeah, it was yesterday. I snuck down for like 30 minutes, and I was just in the box, like, pop, 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 like trying to do all these poses. Like, I got my I got my different shots that I always try to hit, right? Like, I try to listen to it. Like, I'll listen back to the audio after I shoot the record or shoot the review. And then mm-hmm. while I'm shooting the pictures, I try to match the things I'm saying with pictures I take. And then I usually have video, like a 360 on a turntable. I'll go up, in, flip the figure around, go out, down. And then, like, I try to hit all the all the key points. Sure. But, I mean, I never really worry too much about what somebody else does or isn't has done. If I, I'm passionate about something, I'm, I make my, all my content I make for me. Like, yeah. I don't make stuff for other people. Like I make it, I probably watch my content more than anybody on the planet, <laughs> right? Like I watch my old videos, not not only get better and like see what I could do, you know, to improve. Right. Just because this is my passion. Like this is, I have no one to talk about this stuff with. My wife does not care about <laughs> what McFarland's putting out. She does not care about how pumped I am for Jonah Hex and his horse. Like she could, she couldn't care less. But right. a lot, a lot of people like yourselves, a lot of people on the internet, they they enjoy it too. Um, yeah. and yeah, so I always just make things just, what do I want to make? What do I want to see? Uh, and then kind of just do that. It's worked pretty well. I love that's what's, that. that's what's I love up, that. man. That's what it is. That's it. That's it. Uh, I, I do see that that's working well for you on YouTube. Um, the content that you're making and you feel inspired to make 
Uh, I know that can feel like some like actual work sometimes with the editing and putting everything oh, yeah. the body of work itself. But I do know that um, once you have it out, it's so fun to watch your stuff that you've done. And I remember somebody saying on uh, Instagram, they was talking about how uh, Rick Rubin is talking about uh, your, your, your artwork is a journal. Mm -hmm. These are your entries, you know what I'm saying? So now since I heard that when I'm doing a custom, I was going to hold them for posting like throughout the week. But now I'm like, ah, I just drop it. I'm on the phone talking to these guys doing something. After I get on the phone, I just drop it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even yeah. care about how many views it gets per se, but it's like, why am I waiting around and strategically do this? Who really knows how this whole thing works? You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I like it. So let me just go ahead and put it out. You know what I'm saying? So, and, Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, man. content train never stops. I always say that. Content, the content, content train's always going. You mm -hmm. know? So it's just like, it was funny. It's like the stuff I'll put the most amount of work into will perform the worst. Like, it'll get like five like, views. <laughs> people just hate it. It just doesn't, doesn't pop at all. I'll throw Michael Jackson like he's sitting in my position talking about, you know, a, something being a problem and I'll get a hundred thousand views on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's so, mm -hmm. I was trying to explain this to, to one of the people I work for that you can't, there's no mm -hmm. magic sauce, right? There's no like, well, how do you just replicate the same thing over and over again? I'm like, it's not like that. It's a mm -hmm. consistency thing. Like you have to be consistent in your, in your hustle, consistent in your niche to get anywhere in this. It's not just like, Oh, we made a hundred thousand. We, we made a million view video. Now, how can we make six more of those? Cool. I don't know. I don't even know why the first one got a million views. Like it's not even <laughs> a lot of times it's not even that good. It's luck. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you just you just keep moving on. You just do the next thing. You yeah, know? It's pretty much like toy photography. We put the figure, the dioramas, the lights, the fog machine, blah, blah, eight lights. But yeah. then <laughs> I do one of these with just a, a, a hand shot, a hundred lights. Yeah, what's going on? Like, yeah. right. you wasted all that time to set up a beautiful shot. They but now, it. but now we up to this point, us three, yeah. are like it doesn't matter. We're doing it for ourselves now. Yeah, yeah. don't matter no more. Yeah, I, I love that. To, I to somebody that uh, he called it being nerfed. He said uh, when you drop something that's really performing well on your feed or whatever, but you get shares. Because like Instagram nerfs you. I said, well, how is that even possible? He said, I don't know. Instagram chooses when it wants to let stuff get out to the explore page or not. I said, bro, if I got to think about all that, I ain't worried about it, bro. <laughs> Crazy. Now I got to follow no. Instagram too? Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Hey, um, So, Thor, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Did, did you back the um, the new McFarlane spawn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the uh, medieval? The Kickstarter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Day one. So now, which one did you get? Blue, the blue OG. one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like the How original. You... I have the original release mm -hmm. uh, out of box on like my random figure shelf, right, and okay. actually have actually right over here. I got the right. seven inch one that they did, right, right there on open. But no, that that thing, and with all the freebies that have been unlocked, yeah, I missed no, but, out. So, but how do you really movie? feel about that though? <laughs> I was just gonna ask. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. It's we okay, yo. Todd, Todd ain't gonna watch this. We <laughs> want the sauce, bro. No, bro, no boil the baked chicken. We want the sauce. I want the real. I don't want peace. I want problems. So yeah, you bought it, but what would Thor do to make it better? There you go. <laughs> I don't know. The, is the cloth? Is the cape cloth? No, no. no. Plastic, well, that was the first plastic. thing. Which is crazy that it's not because it's like, how am I getting twenty dollars figures with cloth capes and triple wires and stuff like that? But this thing doesn't. I'm all like, and even the says, new ones, the 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 Call of yeah. Duty spawn got got soft capes. That's wild. Them. Why would you do now that one? That one made no sense to me. All right, so you you got spawn. You have the spawn lime. You've never done a spawn with a cloth cape. The only cloth cape I have is a giant aftermarket like uh, leather one I bought on the internet. <laughs> And then you do it for a Call of Duty line, like you don't even do like a mega figure, like that, that. I could not get, I cannot wrap my head around that. Why he did that? He's doing such, he's doing such a good job of introducing that stuff in the DC digital line, the, the the soft good stuff. Of course, he's not going hard with it, but you know he's doing it. You know, which is what we appreciate. 
extra hands. We appreciate that. Extra faces. Extra yep. heads, yeah. Yeah. Like that Huntress. That Huntress coming off has got three heads. Whoa. Three heads on that collector's edition Huntress. Like, uh, yeah, but I heard that to unlock the tiers, you do unlock a shield. Like each tier was was like a bullshit item. Oh, that he should have came with already. Like um yeah. extra yeah. hands was another tier. And, um, yeah, I believe. It was it, it was it was a sheath. Oh, you're right. A sheath was a sword. sword sheath. <laughs> it was another tear. Like yep. what the hell? Like this stuff was supposed to come with that because yeah, like, he's a, like come on, he's a medieval um a medieval figure with a big ass sword. Shouldn't he have extra hands to hold it, or shouldn't he have a sheath? You know what I'm saying? Like shouldn't he have those things in general? A lot you of know? people was just upset about that because the way he he worded it, he said, "Y'all may get this or something that may be," like people was just blown away that that was the tears. Yeah, you know. So how do you feel about that, Thor? I mean, I, I wish they would just come out right away and say, "Here's the package and here's right. everything you get," and not have this. But if you look at like the Kickstarter, the first Kickstarter, the regular spawn, yeah. Um there really wasn't a lot of unlockables as it progressed. Like it just, this is what these three came with. This is what this package came with. This is what this package came with. Mm -hmm. So I do like the ability, like the magnetic shield will be cool. The magnetic gauntlets will be cool. Hands should be a must. That's like hands for me. Every figure should have a pair of fists and then a different pair, like something to hold a, a weapon if they have a weapon or, you know, they do a lot of the, the finger pointing yeah. hand right now. Yeah, and the trigger finger. All up like the bloodline and be like all putting their ones in the air. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the trigger finger. Everybody got trigger fingers. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny <laughs> when Batman's got no fist but a pair of trigger fingers. And I'm like, mm, does he need that? Are you yeah. serious? I'm grabbing yeah. yeah. They got the, the grab hand and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but then you got like the Tim Drake Robin who's got 10 hands and is just yes. a gorgeous figure. That, that yeah. cock tape, Tim Drake. Um, he is ridiculous. Like the, it almost feels like neoprene, the cloth cape that they made that out of. And it's got two layers. It's got the yellow layer on the bottom and then the black layer on top. Um, it's crazy. I look at like the, the, the Bane, the, or the Bale Batman is like a perfect example of the, like the growth of McFarlane or the journey through the McFarlane. Cause it started with like the build a figure, which is a rubber cape, like base figure. Then you got the six pack figure who's just got like the regular cape. Then you got the skydive figure who's got the wired, like big, you know, cape. So it's kind of the evolution of McFarlane kind of tracks through a lot of those, those figures. It's, it's cool. It's, I'm glad to see that we're getting this for this price point and that they're improving the line. Uh, Cause some, one of the knocks, my lot knocks in the Marvel legends, they've been doing the same thing for like 10 years, Yeah, you know, yeah, they got some pin lists and they got a little bit of this here and there, but there's not a lot of variation on what they do and not yeah. enough to like ever make me jump in on that line, like full hog. You know, I never went hard on Marvel legends ever really. <laughs> so Marvel legends collector. And at the time, everybody that is a human male or human female, their faces look the same. And then all of a sudden one year they drop a retro carded line and everybody looks unique and they're pinless. And now you're like, oh shoot, I think I gotta collect all these. It almost like it gave everybody a fresh start, you know, like with the X Men and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. I say, if you're gonna go Marvel Legends, try retro card stuff because that stuff is really, really nice. The three pack stuff and all that, it, it can it can vary, but the characters that are pinless look really, really amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Compared I got the three pack uh, Spider Man right here. He mm -hmm. looks great. It's the Andrew Garfield one out of the the movie three pack, and like I said, I'm I'm pretty selective. Like I got the symbiote Spider Man, obviously got to have a Deadpool, like a Wolverine. I think is a must. But then I got like Scarlet Spider still sitting on card over here. The Moon Knight that they did a little while ago. That's a really dope looking figure. So, mm -hmm. yeah, agreed, agreed. Yo, so check this out. So we we've been talking for 29 minutes. Now I um I want to see the goodies, man. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies. Not my goodies. So oh yeah! Get, All right, we gonna get started on the um the, the toy room. Toy, toy room. Tour. I've never. I like to play with my toys. I like to play. I like to play with my toys. I like to play. So here's my. 
like workbench. There's the, the photo box I was talking about earlier. Yo, you got your mamas, like you were talking about collector. You got to have them. Cool, cool. So, Damn. so some Batmobiles. Here, I'll show you it real quick. Let me pull, draw the curtain back. So that's the um, toy photography section. Yeah, up there. That's all my toy photography stuff. Like you can see, um, like super action stuff, like the crate of cruelty. Awesome. Or yeah. Cruelty game on. I just picked up that building a couple weeks ago that all the Bat family are on. Yo. And then I got that one up there with all the Batmans. Zoom in a little bit. That's crazy. Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah, that's the collection pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah, nice pack. Both of them. And then I added uh, up top is like uh, Keaton as an old man and then uh, um, Flash movie Batman. And then there's yeah. the Batmobiles. All the McFarlane Batmobiles. Yo, that stuff like is high up though. That's crazy. Yeah, they're up on a they're they're high up on a shelf for sure. Here's all like uh like I was saying, all the stuff I hide. <laughs> so, <laughs> the yeah, back out a little bit. You can see there's some like my hero. Oh, yeah. oh so, so my, hero my hero figures. Yeah, yeah. Toys, my hero. Yeah, like an old spawn. Then I got some of the Super Seven, like the Silverhawks, mm -hmm. rebuying my childhood. So I even got like a ton of different stuff down there. Let me hear stand back up. Let's get it back. Get Here's the up. back wall a little bit closer. Yeah. Got all the face figures up there. Bro, yeah. are, you, are you ever worried about those falling over? or? Oh, they fall over all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Man. I come down here like at least once a month, and they're like once every couple weeks, and there's stuff falling over. Yo, do me a favor, Thor. Walk up on them. Walk up on them like a young lady, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how much sport I got here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's oh, the people. Yeah. So there's those Dragon Ball Z. Um, the Jack specific ones I was talking about from back in the early 2000s. Really I used to work at Suncoast Video. Whoa. That's why I picked those up. Wow, I've never seen those. Like that style, like that. And that's all of my 90s figures. There's all like. Uh, oh. ah. There you go. Nice. Gargoyles, Silverhawk, Thundercats. Oh, yeah, all the, all the classics. He-Man down there. Here's the Marvel show. Like I was saying, I only got about like 20 Marvel figures. Mm -hmm. But you did. You did what I was talking about. You got the retro card stuff, most of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here, here's the backlog. Damn. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me spin the light around. Yeah, don't no. the whole, um, there's figures in those boxes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, all these, oops, all these have figures in them. And then here, here's like the retro card, Scarlet Spider. Yeah, that's a dope one. I'll grab some of that stuff up. And then I got like, uh, there's the Todd Father over there with Spawn. Yeah. You passed. Thirty percent off it when we went on that toy hunt. Oh, Wait, yeah, there's, uh, oh, here's some of the classic Dragon Ball Z stuff from Japan. Yo, I remember those. Whoa. Damn, those are classics, man. That's a that's a first on the toy room tour, bro. Yep. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I never seen nobody have them. all these figures in a bag for like one hundred and fifty dollars, probably back in nineteen ninety nine. Oh, those yeah. are. Your, he got your card, bro. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah, there's the Transformers. You got some random figures. All my My Hero guys. Mm -hmm. This is what I call the random figure shelf. Okay. okay. I like tried that. So, Need some light on that. Uh, let me see. Got I some like, Trigun. Trigun, bro. I like that show. Yeah. That's a McFarlane, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the older one, right? Yep. The base and stuff? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let me see if I can grab here. I get my. I feel right there, bro. Mando. Got the um um Shuyu, 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 uh, I can't even say it. The Yuyu Yaku show. Yuyu yep. Yaku. Yeah. yeah, I got some Ronin Warriors back there. Yeah, Cowboy Warriors. Bebop. Is that a BST AXN? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had those figures, bro. I was trying to enjoy them so much, but I couldn't post them like I wanted to. Best yeah. action. 
Yeah. I, I hate that toy line. Yeah. Oh, look at Majin Buu, bro. And the only reason why I hate that toy line because it says best articulated <laughs> and it's not. Like, what? It's like hey, they, advertisement. <laughs> better, but, you know, they got better. No way. I'm trying to see what's over there, bro. Behind the chairs. Which one? Uh, Behind the chairs. From the second shelf down type junk. And the green oh. light. Yeah. Green. This is nuts, bro. Crazy boy. It's, it's a nice setup, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the DC stuff. Mm -hmm. He got you the Crow Robins. Oh. That back in my face right there. That Bane two pack. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, there's the over and there. The, on the I sees it and I likes it. I likes yeah. it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some old like DC direct. Justice yeah, League pack. I had those. Yeah. So it was marvelous. <laughs> in your opinion, Thor, was it a good idea for Todd to take on the line, or should DC Direct have to try uh, have tried to stay alive a little longer? Ooh. Um, I'm glad. But I'm I'm be honest. I like seven inch. I do I do like me some seven inch. Mm -hmm. So I was glad they. I'm glad they got this. The line. So I'm not a big six inch guy. <laughs> I really like that's why I like Super Seven and NECA, uh, like the gargoyles, and mm -hmm. like even the Dragon Ball Z ones from from back in the early 2000s. They're they're larger scale, so mm -hmm. I, I I like those better. So I, I'm glad he picked it up. That's I'm happy with it. Yo. So what's one what's one toy line from um like like you would like top top to to pick up and, and make? Ooh. Uh, another property. My wallet would say none, but <laughs> <laughs> mine too. Please don't make any more stuff that I need. Um, gosh, who would he do a good job with that? I like an IP that I like a lot. Um, that's a really good question, man. That is a really good question. Yeah, because you picked up the Mortal Kombat, but I don't think that that's going anywhere now. No, no that's pretty much dead. I mean, yeah. honestly, I think My Hero is dead. Yeah, uh, Avatar seems dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> He's killing everything. Uh, he did I would like him to go back to making anime figures. He had demons. You know? he got like, demons. Um, like never the, forget. Like, don't make like this thing. Akira, right? hey, bad. That's bad, bro. That's dope. Like wait, 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 the, wait, wait, wait. the McFarland logo on it. Like I would like him to go back to making that sort of stuff. Yeah. But like articulated, like give me a fully articulated Vasta Stampede. Give me a fully articulated, uh, you know, give me another Akira bike, maybe seven inch scale, um, maybe anime stuff outside of my hero. I'd like to see him go back to that. That's cool. I, but not I, Dragon Ball. Don't make Dragon Ball. I don't. Yeah. No, just don't do it. Just don't I'm, do that. If you say that, I say that across the board. Don't do Demon Slayer. Don't do my hero. Don't do Digimon or in, nothing that we really love. Cause I don't know if he's connected to that culture like that. I think what his thing is is his thing, like the spawns and the Spider Mans and Batmans. He's he's cool with that, you know what I'm saying? But the other stuff, it's like he's sampling it, but he's not really. It don't move, bro. Like that just crazy. I don't move. Mortal Kombat stuff, I was really enjoying, but it still didn't move like that. You know what I'm saying? But if he would have really have made some deluxe Mortal Kombat figures, I would have been down for that. You know yeah, they were all like base figures. There was a couple two packs, but they never did like Goro, you know. freaking Kentaro, Kentaro. And Keith. they can, but I just don't know why they have it. Because you know, McFarlane makes mega figures, so mm -hmm. they can easily make a mega figure of that. You know, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I they want. I want to see more mega figures. Like I love the mega figures. Yeah. Yo, you know, I love them now that the price has been dropping a lot of. Them. Dude, get like twenty five dollars, you get a mega figure. Yeah, like McFarland discounts is the best discounts on the market, bro. Again, <laughs> bar none, bro. It's just like, I, it's like I feel like they, the, I feel like they counted the best discounts on the market because nobody really want them too much. Yeah, and the ones that get the heaviest discount are kind of the ones like the peg warmers, right? The ones that yeah. like, you know, Wave Rider or whatever his name was, or you mm -hmm. know, some mm -hmm. of those dudes like that Superman two pack with Ultraman. 
was the only real reason to get it was the busted up Daily Planet, the yes. the, the, the base. I was like the only reason to get that two pack. And then mm-hmm. they had like a Tomica mini, like a tiny mini mini figure. And I'm yeah. like, come on, I wouldn't you know, even buy that at seventy percent off. Though I couldn't do it. Yeah, another- those faces are horrible too. <laughs> another. He's smiling. He's like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was the fact that at that time when that pack first dropped mcfarlane was only doing one set of hands on his figures so that pack had extra hands and i promise you that's the only reason i would have got that pack maybe a body for superman and some extra hands and i ain't want nothing else on there bro. i ain't want no dio and not like i'm like bro give us hands and then he started giving yeah. us you know what i'm saying what? Was, uh, I like on the two packs in the mega, like some of that stuff. They finally stopped putting the cards in the backdrop. Yeah. So they used to have the card like plastered to the backdrop. So you'd have to rip the backdrop to get the card out or cut it and try to, like, you know, I tried a bunch of different stuff to try to get it off to use them still because you could, some of them are cool. But like the Bane one has the Bat Cave backdrop, uh, but uh, they took no card attached to it. So it's, mwah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. Because no, if you do a photo, it's gonna be hard if if you have that plastic thing right there. Thor, let me see the let me see your cards, bro. Uh, no, you got them. Thick ass stack. I, I I got a stack like that. I know. I bet it's that good though. There you go. Like Uno cards. <laughs> I got a book. <laughs> I got a book. I need to put them in. I was gonna do like a retrospective, like a live stream where I just load the book up and okay. like do a close shot on it. Not even, I don't even know if I do my face in it, but then just talk about like going through them because there's I can't really fathom how many figures I've collected since 2020. Like it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I'm shocked shot my wife ain't left me. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's, there's been times that I use a blade by accident and and I go too so fast and I cut the card, bro. Oh uh, man, that's, that's unfortunate. I'll be pissed. It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I hate those collector cards. Those those uh collector editions that have the card holders. I hate those things the most. Mm-hmm. I don't display my figures with the card. So that like for me, the first one, I remember the first card holder that came with what King Shark. Right. I was like, yes, for toy photography and for my reviews, this is great. I have something to hold the card now. Right. I can take my pictures of it, blah blah blah. But yeah. now I have like 20 of those things, and they're a curse down here. I'm like, I don't have space for card holders. Yeah. Like I have a bucket full of you know the the handy dandy McFarland standees I call them like the little round stands like I got a bucket of those things like please yeah. no oh yeah 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 and they're good and it, I'm glad I do have them because some figures actually really 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 need them or yeah. two like that Steppenwolf if you got the Ju- uh, Zack Snyder Justice yeah. League Steppenwolf if you don't have a stand on both both of his feet. There's no way he's standing up. He's wow. the man bat thing. too. Man bat had those weak ankles. Can't stand Hulk, Hulk, yes. Was it Hawkman? His wings are so heavy. You got to have a stand on both feet, bro. They use those wings. All right. Why do they keep reusing those wings? They use know. it on Reaper, Dark Reaper, Hawkman, on. and like a few other figures. And then you got like the Sky Tyrant Joker, uh, or the Bat- Sky Tyrant Batman who laughs. Yeah. And they open up. It's like there's a joint in the wing, and you can open and close them. I'm like, why wouldn't we get those? Yeah. Like, bro. I don't know. It's Todd for you. Hey, I was going to say that. Yo, check this out, Thor. So if a um a new collector is watching this interview right now, he's inspired by your collection, and he wants to start, you know, I guess you inspired him to start doing this now. What advice could you give him? He's a new collector now. He want to get the same collection you got. Oof. What? Yeah, what advice could you give them? Start now. <laughs> like <laughs> some of the stuff will be t- difficult because you know, like the quicker you jump in, the easier it is and the harder it is. Let's be real. But like just and just buy what you love. Like yeah. if you love Spider-Man and you want to buy every Spider-Man, like just go find some Spider-Mans and start buying them. If it's for me, it was Nightwing, right? Like I have like four, five, six, I don't even know how many Nightwing figures, but like or if it's anime, whatever it is, just go pick it up and and find a toy community. Like I'm lucky in Minnesota, we have sure. a really thick toy community. Like we have our own toy groups. We do mm. monthly swaps. Um, they're super helpful people, like Dave Wonder and some of the guys up here who have been doing this for a long time. Um, so find a community, buy what you love, and then just keep collecting, collect until you're you know 
content, I guess. Okay, Man. yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, now, one more question I always ask my guests. Um, <clears throat> at any point, do you see yourself ever being done with this hobby, like, at all? Nah, not now. I'm too deep. I'm too deep in this thing. I mean, <laughs> if the channel, if my YouTube channel wouldn't have morphed into a toy channel, maybe. Sure. But once Pandora's box was opened up again, and I have, and I'm older with disposable cash, like, nah, <laughs> nah. I, I mean, you know, if I have to, if I go back to living in a studio apartment, all my collectibles go back into to, uh, totes. Yeah. I lose all this. Maybe then that's because that's when I stopped when I was like 30 and uh, went through a breakup, whatever, whatever. I was living in my brother's basement. All my all my stuff was in totes. You know, like all I had were like my little DC, like the ones you get with the movies, like the figures you get when you bought a movie. They'd have them in there like a target. That was all I had for a hot minute. And then, you know, when I started getting my places or started getting places again, then they start to come out, start to bring stuff out. So the only reason I could stop is if everything just went sideways on me. But even then, I still wouldn't completely stop. I'd still like, you know, get a statue here, buy a figure there, you know. I'd still do. I'd still keep keep it. That's cool, bro. Yeah, because the collection is is in your blood, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just wired, like, yeah. Now, um, my question that I always ask my guests, um, so how does like your your wife or your spouse feel about your collection? Like, oh, she hates does, it. She, she hates, hates it? it. Oh, she hates it. Uh, this thing say, is absurd. Like, like, does she tell you to make sure everything stays downstairs? Don't bring that shit upstairs, type of shit. Oh yeah, it's not allowed upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> nothing's allowed. So it's funny is I'm in the dungeon now because I used to be in our spare bedroom, like uh -huh. in the other part of the break of the basement. And she sure. would say like once a month, she'd be like, I can't believe you have a whole how whole room in my house full of just toys and junk. And I'm like, well, that's fine. Like, how about I move it in this other side? And then one day she finally was like we're moving it all i'm making this a spare bedroom for my family because they're they're from iowa or whatever and i was like yeah that's fine and it's worked out way better for me because now that like i love the little dungeon area i got here like it's just compacted I, like yeah. i said i used to live in a studio apartment i'll just surround myself with my things yes and i'm at home like this is my come down here and all the noise stops right like i got a million things going on half the time but yeah. as soon as i turn some studio lights on and i sit in that photography chair or i, I hit a live stream like all the stuff in my head stops and I can oh. like focus and I like gives me an outlet um, for my, for me. It's when I can be like, I think sometimes my most authentic self, I agree. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like dad Thor is super authentic. Like, don't get me wrong. I love being dad, but there's something about like nerd Thor. That's like, that's <laughs> who I've been for a long time, yeah. like for a really long time. So when I get to let him out, yeah, I feel like I like I'll get done with this podcast tonight. And I'll be riding a high for like hours. I'll be so <laughs> jacked up after this. Like just hanging out with you guys have been awesome. Like talking about all this stuff. Like it gets me like I can like my breathing's different. Like my palms get sweaty. Like <laughs> I get like I get like so pumped about it. It's yeah. like that's it for me. Like it's that feeling. It, you know, like people always talk about chasing a feeling. Yeah. Like, but the feeling that this gives me every day is irreplaceable like it's mm -hmm. it's what calms me it's what like guides me it centers me you know what i mean like everything getting off the rails i come back to this and it's it makes sense like i you know what i mean i don't have to think to do it it just i sit down and it just happens and yeah that's great bro yeah so that's what it is it's like a bunch of brothers like sitting down having conversation about toys you know yeah the best feeling in the world <laughs> the community is great too that's the thing about the toy community i did not know for way too long like that y'all were out there and i was like all these people all these cool like dope people I, I remember like comrade like you helping me when my when my channel got hacked yeah like that's how we even first connected was you were following my stuff like we were following each other a little bit mm -hmm. and then like i got my channel taken like mm -hmm. my uh my instagram got hacked yeah wow. and you reached out to me like instantly and we're like on it with like yeah. helping me get it back and just help me through that whole process. And I was really lucky. Like I was super fortunate to get my original, um, my original channel, my original stuff back. Cause that doesn't happen for, for everybody. So that was I never really, really said thank you for that, man. Cause I really appreciated like no one ju just steps out of nowhere and is like helps like that a lot. Like not, there's not a lot of dudes like that. So like much, much appreciated that you did that. Yeah. Yeah, bro.
I would have yeah, yeah, we was there. Look, when that happened to me, man, Marvelous was right there. <laughs> we lost my hey, we lost out the same day. I lost mine first, <laughs> and I was trying to call him. Hey, you finna <laughs> the, the scammer is about to contact you as me. Don't answer. Good I got to him. I got to him too late. And by the time I got to him, he's like, Oh shit, I just talked to the scammer. <laughs> he got yes. me and you. Same day, so same day, bro. <laughs> that happened so fast, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Man, bro, that jump was yeah. like, but you know, at the same time, it's the best thing that ever happened, man. Seriously, because I can thought about this. I was like, shoot, bro, I got all this content I made already. You know, I was three thousand followers like that. I was like, do I even want to do this again? Marvin's like, what you gonna do? I said, man, I'm gonna just do it again, bro. I'm just do it again, you no, know? and and it's gonna be better. better. Now, now I don't care. Now I really don't care because if it goes, yep. it doesn't, it doesn't. And it was just the best time, bro. Like, it's even better now. Mm -hmm. I know That's really what I told the hacker. I said, I said, listen, I still have control over Facebook message, like uh, Facebook business suite. I still control myself. I have no problem burning it to the ground before I let you take it and do whatever you want with it and scam other people. I'll delete my whole, you know, whatever many eight years at that point or six years. Because that was like three years ago, wasn't it? Like yeah. two, three years ago, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I said the same thing. I was like, I will burn it down and start again. I'll start a million channels, you know what I mean? And just because yeah. it's me, like, I can't, I can't not do this stuff. I just right. not in my blood. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It was on that. A Thor was off that jump for about ten minutes. They were talking about Bitcoin. <laughs> it was trying to sell yachts and all kind of junk. I <laughs> 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 didn't get you, man, bro. When it, it was funny seeing his him posting stuff while I'm watching it on my business suite, mm -hmm. and I could post, I could delete. So he posts some, I delete it. I'd post some, he delete it. Like we were going back and forth, and then he's like, "How can you even?" Because it was some snot nosed kid that got mine, and he was like, "How can you even be doing this?" And I was like, "Well, first off, like I made a mistake, and that's the reason you got in. But yeah. I'm not that stupid to where I have no insulation to like no protections. Like I was rolling with no safety net. So yeah. I still had a way to communicate with my people and, and tell people like, yo, it's not me. You uh -huh. know, you know, and luckily I didn't lose a lot from that. I gained, like I grew, I probably actually grew more from that than I lost from that. Cause even talking about it, get, once I re got it, I was telling the story and, and, uh, and then it kind of reinvigorated me. Like I started putting out more content. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put yeah. out 10 pieces of content a week. You know, yeah. like not three. I'm going to, you know, jump those numbers up, yeah. you know? So. That's, hey, listen, it'll definitely, it'll definitely kick you in the ass, man, and get you in gear yeah. when you lose everything that you worked hard for. You know what I'm saying? So, um, because it got us like that. It came out of nowhere. It was unsuspected. And, you know, the guy tried to get me to, um, what did he hey. ask me for? Pay him. Yeah, pay him for He wanted me to give him. A five hundred dollar gift card to Steam. Mm -hmm. so I'm not paying my my account is not worth fucking five hundred dollars, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think you're overestimating what this account actually means to me. Hey, I say yo, five hundred dollars, you can have it. Okay, yeah. I'll just I'll just make another one. Yeah, and um, oh, yeah. he had it, and he he tried to contact a few people, and he tried to talk as me, mm -hmm. but people know how I talk. They're like, no, nah, this guy's like he from. Jamaica or something. <laughs> <laughs> big up, big up the whole island massive. It's your boy Chatana coming straight from the Golden Gloves. You are saying it was wild. People was sending me like screenshots, mm -hmm. and they was like recording the conversation mm -hmm. of him talking, and mm -hmm. the guy was like watching some of my my old videos, trying to talk like me, bro. It was, wow. it, was, it, was, it was funny, man. <laughs> it was so funny. And that that was a that was a really big period in time. A lot of people was getting hit, man. A lot, a lot of people. So that's why that's so awesome there. that you guys have grow grew from that though. Like yeah. that shows like the fortitude that you guys have, and like that it wasn't you were you were doing it for the right reasons, right? Like mm -hmm. that happened. A lot of people like Conrad. You just fold up, be like done, you know, or you just be like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna start another one. I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna you know start this movement, grown ass men toys like. I remember when the hashtag started. I remember when you guys' show started. I've been, you know, a supporter from the jump, you know, oh, because man. I like what you guys do. I like the vibe that you guys have. I watch you guys' his, his videos, and I'm like, yes, like, it's, you got, you know, people like me on, you know, people, you know, it's it's awesome. You give a, a voice to, you know, 
try to shine light on this whole culture and this whole this whole thing. Yeah, man, we appreciate that, bro. Yeah, um, we trying. Seriously, that was how because of that, like Conrad said, because of us getting hacked, grown ass man toys was born because of that. Yeah, and it's like we like because like we we still talked every day before the hack, but we was I'm doing my own thing, he's doing his own thing, Clint doing his own thing. We didn't really, you know, have the idea to come together to form anything. We just was I'm over here and you over there, but we still talk, we still cool. Mm -hmm. But when that happened and it happened together to me and this guy, we just decided to just you know put our heads together mm -hmm. and come back, you know, with our original pages, but also try to have something else over here too to reach out to other people and you know support everybody man because that's what the whole community is about anyway it's about supporting and showing love to the little guy because a lot of the big guys all the pages the, the ten thousand followers twenty thousand followers those guys get all the looks yeah right but yeah. The, but the two thousand followers a hundred follower guys they don't really get no play because you're a small page which is dumb to me Cause we're all here to do the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. Like yeah. I, the like, sense like like people people treat people treat this like this is a popularity contest. Yeah, you know it's like oh well I got ten thousand followers so I can't talk to you. You know you got a thousand. When you mm -hmm. get nine thousand more, come talk to me. Like what the hell, bro? Like what's going on, man? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's weird. That's that wild. Man. That's that wild gatekeeping. Like you're doing something different. I don't do. I mean, when I was a 400 follower channel versus what I am now, I'm not doing really anything different. Like really, except I picked a niche, and you know, I'm more consistent. I think maybe than I used to be with just posting and stuff like that. But man, I always want to tell people how to do this, how to you know produce, how to um, do live streams, how to make videos, how to edit, how to you know do Photoshop, do this, do that. I mean. I don't have this knowledge just to hold it for myself and, and, you know, like, oh, no, you can't have it. It's just me over here doing my thing. That's how like, they do oh, it, I wanna, like, that's why like I go like channels like this, like Dave wonder, my guy, um, you know, just even like Tyler, the toy geek, some of my dudes, you know, like they're, everyone puts out great content. Like yeah. everyone puts out great content. Everyone's got great like stuff. So you just, I try to just, I try to look, watch as much as I can. Problem yeah. is I got, you know, you guys know how it is. You got kids, you got job, you got, you know, two real jobs, life. you know, a couple kids. And there's just like not enough hours in the day, you mm -hmm. know, to watch everything and, and support. But you do if you I can. jump on and share, you know, a couple things every day or, you know, make sure I put up something for somebody else or help somebody edit something, I get probably more joy out of that than I do out of making my own stuff. It's like seeing someone get like, you know, pop on or, you know, invigorate another person. Like if you said, if I inspire one person ever, that's that I can't even. That just kind of blows my mind a little bit because I'm just like I'm just a nerd sitting in my basement just doing what I've done for forty some years. You know, I'll be forty three this year. I've been doing this for a long time, so Man. I just you know I I love seeing it get bigger and you know, um, yeah, that's, that's great. great. It, that's it, I think it's pretty amazing how. uh when I came on this platform, when I came on Instagram, I, I saw how everybody was shooting and uh, with their cameras and stuff like that. And then, you know, I started to try to take pictures like these guys with the phone. And um, those things can actually rival, you know, camera shots now uh, on on IG. So I wonder how photographers feel, like real ph photographers that went to, to college for that or whatever, feel about the average everyday person learning those tips and tricks and the same thing could be said about marketing and and we're literally marketing bro everybody's marketing every day you know so like the guy like yourself that gets paid to do it it's like damn bro like what should we all be you know in that niche like for graphic design marketing photography like we're all doing this stuff every day at, at so now every post you put up is marketing every time you guys do a live stream all your promo videos that's all marketing that's all you know it takes time and effort like edit like you're saying editing just editing alone like i don't hire editors i don't do any of that you know like i literally do everything myself mm -hmm. i always have and i don't ever see that changing like i never see that changing it's just because mm -hmm. i'm kind of a control freak so giving somebody else and then like trying they don't think how i think or see how mm -hmm. i see mm -hmm. um 
but yeah i i have a couple of photographer friends who do that like uh, for real like real photographers and i'm so amateur at my photography i try to like you're really good man like i like like your batman or not your your blue superman shot from a few weeks ago you did a lot of those dude those were so fire those were so fire and like your conan shot um not too long ago like some of that stuff dude that stuff is really good like i'm i'm impressed i really am i try to just like i like look at everyone's stuff and try to like just get a little bit better how can i like take a chunk or what they're doing and put it into what i would do and make it better Mm -hmm. and make it you know strengthen steel steel sharpen steel right so Mm -hmm. that's dope agree man appreciate coming on with us man you really do man i was going to ask you um do you have anything you want to plug anything coming up that you want to let the people know about yeah, the dark side video should be out by the time this drops. So go check that out on the YouTube channel, have the full review. Um, but yeah, I'm a short. I mean, I make a lot of shorts right now. So you like short format video? Go check out Base My Banner. Um, yeah, I mean, Base My Banner everywhere. You know, take that YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, even. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, come say hi. Thor's thoughts, reviews. Uh, yeah, toy hunting videos. Like if you like toys, you know, come come say what up. <laughs> yeah love it love it well listen man thank you so much for spending your sunday with us and your weekend and everything man and hope you have a great monday um i mean it's a holiday tomorrow so still shit you know enjoy it but you know have a safe monday man take care of yourself try mm-hmm. and get in the lab and do some shots tomorrow try and ride go. this ride this high for another there like 24 go. hours uh, <laughs> i really appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys having me on you guys got a great show growing ass men toys it's the movement like, thank you we outside. We appreciate it. We outside. Let's go. On that note, I am your boy, Marvelous Shots. We're at the four, two, five. The real comrade. Based on my banner. <laughs> we outside. <laughs> hey, listen, before you go, you hear the music? Yeah. Listen, we get all our guests to give us a dab. Let's go ahead and dab up out of here, man. Dab. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> we appreciate it, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you guys so much, dude. It was a, pl- it was a pleasure, honestly. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. You have a good night. We all saw it. You too. I love it.